Yo, what's up? How you doing, guys? A few days ago, I received an email from a friend. His name is Danny. And Danny, um, he sent me a park. This is the Danny Park. And uh, he asked me if I can make a video and show him how to um, the fill the gap before we create a tool pad. And this is uh, the gap of Danny. Danny want to fill the two gap here and he want to make a, a 3D tool pad to do a, a, a milling uh, on this tupper face you can see the tupper I will mark it uh, in a green color okay here check it okay and this is the Danny uh, Danny Park Danny want to machine this green surface uh but uh on this part you can see we have two gaps here one on the left and one on the right and max and that's two gap make uh, the tool pass not continuous um i will make a, a sample a tool pad here for example the survey finish a contour tool pad select it and okay Okay, and you can see when uh, where the gap uh, where the the tool uh, meet the gap, the the tool part has not uh, go straight and it go like this, and someone doesn't uh, like it, and they want a smooth tool part, uh, which the tool will go straight from here to here like this, from here and straight uh, go straight line from here to here. You don't want to see this. Okay, it's not good. So, I will show you a, some a simple way to do that. Hi, Danny. Thank you for sending me the file. Okay, and here's some way you can do it. The first way you can uh, use the available master cam wireframe tool pad here. So, with this tool pad, uh, the machine region just defined uh, by the the curve, not surface. So you can, so you just need to create some curve to define the machine uh, area. Very simple. And the second way, you can use the master cam create surface to create some kind of surface that we we can fill this gap. That means uh, we will create uh, a subsurface to cover this area. And we we machine on that surface. Okay, I will do the first uh, the first way. That's the use the master cam wireframe tool pad. Okay, and at first I uh, will uh, I'm gonna use the master cam create curve on one edge. You can find it here. Create menu and curve curve on one edge here. Click on this. I want to click on this uh, edge. Okay, I will show you some way to do that. You have many, many way to do. I'll just show you some. Okay, after we create this line, you click on this the line you just created, and you can use a dynamic X form function. I have uh, already told about this function in another video. You should uh, watch it. Okay, click on this, and I pick. The midpoint of the line here. I check on the copy option here to do a copy. Okay, and I pick on the origin here and move the midpoint to the midpoint of this edge here. Yes, we have the midpoint like here and click on this. Yes, very simple, right? So, it now. You have one line and two line parallel and with the same length. Okay, and we can use the tool pad, wireframe, loft, and mask. Can we ask you to define the contour one? 
select this one and master game uh, we ask you to define the content to click this one yes then you're gonna click on the green check button here and uh, input some uh, parameter for the tool pad for example um, the cut direction you can select along or across you click on the along cut distance across cut distance okay okay and we do a zigzag for example start to leave and input some value here and we're gonna click on the green check button yeah you can see we have a continuous tool pad oh what's up what's up Need some chain parameter. Oh, I don't use this often, so I need to check the parameter. Alright, so you can see we have the a smooth tool pad like this. Yes, you see you can see that we don't need to create a ad, additional surface, just you to curve. Yes, that the first way that you can use is the wireframe tool pad through love revolve you can uh, discover this by yourself very simple okay or you can if you want you can create another another surface by using the create menu surface and gonna click on rule of for example with the rule of you can select this chain and then Mastercam gonna ask you to define the content to and you click on this chain remember they must be the same direction the first chain you start here you end at this position the second chain you must start in here and end in here okay yeah very simple and now you got a continuous surface very quick and simple I will for example the Finish contour. I will select this survey also, and let's check what we have here. Okay, a smooth tool pad. But you can see, uh, we need to soften the surface a little bit. But this area where the gap, uh. Now the tool path is smooth. It goes straight from here to here with no problem, right? Yeah, that the uh, great surface by the rule of option. You can um, another way to create a surface. I will delete this one. Uh, I will create a, an S uh, create so curve one edge. I will click on this edge, so I got. One curve and two curve. All right, very simple. I will create another one curve on it. This line and this line. So we have one, two, three, and four curve created. I will do an extend function by click on the. Uh, sorry. Uh, Add it. Trim break here we have the trim track extend function and i can ex extend this line and this line by a value of for example 20 ping ping yes we do the same with this line ping ping until the, until they cut each other and on the right side we do the same ping ping yeah you can see when you can stop where you can where you see when this line and this line cut each other they intersect okay they intersect with each other after that you select the divide delete option here of the trim and delete this one delete this one delete delete this one all right very simple now you can create a uh, rule up tool pad Surface rule off and select single this line and this line. Oh, yes, so 
you just create a surface like this. Or if you don't want the rule of, you can use another function, create surface and flat boundary. You select a chain here. Yes, you have the same result with the flat boundary surface. Very, very simple, right? Very, very simple. Nothing, nothing can be easier. Yes. So that's, uh, I show you a, a few ways to, uh, we can fill the gap before we do the tool pad. It make the tool pad be smoother if you want. Sometimes you don't need to do that. But sometimes you really want. So you see how you, you do it. Yes. Just create some uh, addition surface. My scam allow you, uh, provide you a, a lot of methods to create surface. You can text some of that. Just about you. Okay. Goodbye. See you next time. And remember, if you have some question, just send me the file and the question. If I have a solution for that, I will make a video and show you and everybody here. Thank you. See you soon.